Hello, and thanks for watching. In this video, we're going to take a flight with a friend and look at some of the functions of JoinFS once you're up in the air. So my friend is just about to connect now. There he is, popped up on the runway. He's going to go off and then we will take off after him. We're at Popham here, nice little airfield in Hampshire. After departure at Popham, there's an immediate turn to the north. And then we just need to find our friend. But I've lost sight of him, so we're going to use the follow function in JoinFS. Click on view aircraft, find him in the list, click on the aircraft so it's blue and then right click and do follow and we pop up immediately behind him. You can adjust the distance that the follow function uses in the settings of JoinFS. Now coming up alongside him my friend's saying how bad the weather is, but we've got nice weather. So JoinFS allows you to actually copy his weather as well. So again, aircraft and tick the weather box. You can also right click and select copy weather. That just copies it once. If you tick the box, your weather will keep updating as his weather updates. Now if you decide to stop copying the weather, that's not so easy. Because the weather settings in your simulator have been changed to match his, when you untick the box they don't go back to what they were before, so you would then have to go into your settings or fire up Active Sky or whatever it is you use to set the weather. And then it might be that you see the wrong aircraft out of the window so you can substitute what model you see. So right click on him in aircraft, choose substitute, find the model that he actually is. So in this case we're going to change him to a PA28 type and OK it. And there he is, he's changed from a high wing Cessna to a PA28 type. Okay, that's it. Bye-bye.